Hey guys, this is the Bubble Mill, and obviously my mic is a lot better, and I'm not holding it up to my mouth. You see, there's an option in my video recording thing that I have. <laughs> so, oops, I didn't realize there was one. But for much you can adjust the volume and amplify it and all that stuff with your mic, and that's pretty neat. So hopefully I'm louder. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So today, I actually pre-wrote a thing, which is pretty cool. I mean, I never did that. Half of it was, like, last night. Half of it was at school. Yeah, I pay attention to my classes. I swear. I actually was paying attention quite a bit. Except in my boring ones. <laughs> so, I am going to go over character appearance view. And, yeah, there's not much else to say. Um, other than there is a lot to say. But I mean, on my own, no. With this guide, hella. So, first thing, I'm just going to read this little thing that I wrote. <clears throat> Think about how their appearance would reflect their personality. Contrary to belief, judging a book by its cover really says a lot about what's inside the book. Not everything, of course, but a lot. You know how people say, you know, the first impression is what counts? Yet they say don't judge a book by its cover. Like I understand a first impression is kind of, you know, actually actions and speaking to the person. But in all honesty, first impressions are their appearance. And their appearance, a person's appearance says a lot about them. I mean, their appearance kind of reflects who they are on the inside. Unless they just don't have any money for their appropriate clothes to properly reflect that at me. Damn it. I'm really bad character. I suck. Because I'm poor. But yeah. Um. So let's go on. I don't know what you guys think about that. But I mean it's true on a certain level. And of course there is a lot more inside. Each individual person. Blah blah blah. But you know. For the most part. I mean come on. So it's not only... Their clothing style, of course. It's actually who, like, what they look like, which also says a lot about them, in my opinion. So, yeah. So, bolder replies. It's like a little guide. I might post it online or something, maybe. Maybe on Tumblr. So, um, body descriptions. Are they tall or short height? Average. Light or dark skin tone? Medium. Um, thin or wide body? In between. Smooth or acne on skin? A little of both. Sunburn or tan easily, both. Birthmarks or freckles, neither, both. Scars or piercings, neither, both. Tattoos or stretch marks, neither or both. So I try to go a lot into detail with this because I'm a very detailed person when it comes to actually describing my characters. I'm kind of the opposite with my characters' descriptions than I am with my scenery descriptions. So, I mean, that says a lot about me. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm a very... um people person but I don't like people <laughs> I like people I just don't like being around a lot of people at once and giant crowds and stuff it just makes me so nervous I don't like being around brand new people without a friend with me either it sucks but um yeah it's, I, I, I draw people a lot so I kind of I'm taking everything that I do for my drawing experience and kind of putting it into writing form to shape and flesh out the character mm. And plus my Sims experience helps me out too. <laughs> yeah, I went there. So as you can see, you can get really detailed in speaking about body types and such. Uh, these are the things you got to think about when creating a character design based off physical appearance alone. So on face description, are the face narrow or is it round? Other, is it like in between or is it like a certain shape? Is it long or short face length? Medium length? So you know how those people are like, oh, why the long face? <laughs> yeah, people's faces can be, like, longer than others. And others, a lot shorter. It's, like, smashed together and other people are, like, stretched. I don't know how to describe it without drawing it, actually. Um, do they have a round or a sharp nose? Meaning, is their nose, like, you know, soft and round? Or is it, like, just prominent and just there, the... the it's a nose. Um, it could also be different nose shapes, too. I'm not sure if I put that. I think I do later. 
Um, do they have slanted or bulging eyes? They can have in between. So, like, slanted, like, how an Asian would have slanted eyes, um, stereotypically. Or bulging eyes, just like, those eyes look like they're going to pop on their head. Um, do they have bright or dull eyes? Meaning, like, do they, they're, you know, the eyes are the window to the soul, or whatever. Like, are they bright and happy, or are they, like, just bored or their minds? I don't know how to explain it. I'm using so many, like, cheesy quotes today. Jesus. Um, do they have light, a light or dark color, eye color? No. Uh, no. <laughs> I, I just to combine the word neither and both. Oops. Do they have thin or thick lips? Um, what's their shape? Do they have a large or small forehead? Medium, hidden forehead, like they keep their forehead hidden all the time, so who knows? Do they have soft or prominent cheekbones? Prominent means like, you know, sharp, I think. Hmm, I wonder. I think it does. Uh, do they have like baby face, no face cheekbones? Or do they have Benedict Cumberbatch cheekbones? Or in between, I mean, yeah. Do they have wide, a wide or narrow chin? Do they have a strong or weak jawline? Short or long eyelashes? Small or big ears? Colored or uncolored cheeks, like blush, kind of like, do, does their face get like red when they're embarrassed or are they pretty much just chill all the time? How easily do their cheeks, you know, get red and flustration <laughs> words? Oh, I did say more about the nose. Do they have a button or a pointed nose? Also, uh, that one weird, like, not Dutch, Dutch is like my nose, but, um, I don't know how to describe it without a hand motion. Eh. But you know those the ones that kind of like go into an arch kind of. And they point down like a lot. They like hook over. Hook nose. Is that what it's called? Hook nose? I need to go see now. <laughs> hook. Hook. Nose. I really hope it is. <gasps> yeah, it's like a Jew no Jewish nose. A Jewish nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. That's what I was talking about. Mm, I... My hair's like, it hooks over. Oh, my God. Got it right. Okay, so do they have long or short hair? Is it medium length? Uh, dark or light hair? Medium color? Um, dyed or highlights? Both, neither. Pointed or bushy eyebrows in between other? Like a unibrow. <laughs> the facial features are very are a very important part of a person, how they smile, teeth showing, or mouth closed, and how brightly lit up their eyes can be, can tell a lot of person about a person. So yeah, I mean, uh, that was very detailed. I mean, in my, yeah, it, it was, okay, no lie. Um, so their style, per se, let's go there. Are they an optimist or a pessimist? Are they realistic? And yeah, I know that's not really like a fashion sense or anything like the rest of these, but the, it kind of, I mean, if you're an optimist, you're probably going to be preppy and pretty, pretty happy about things. If you're a pessimist, well, you're probably going to be pretty pissed and probably grungy about everything. Oh, grungy. Um, neon or emo goth fashion, neither, both. Hipster or preppy style, neither, both. Um, business or fancy attire, neither, both. Fashion will just in or casual clothing, neither both. Comfortable or good looking, neither both. Dressy or chill clothes, neither both. I know, I know. Casual, comfortable, and chill are all pretty much the exact same. <laughs> this can be seen in their clothing choice, their hairstyle, and how they might do their makeup, etc. Also, I was going to do hairstyles and stuff for this, but then I realized, like, I don't know if your character is a male or female or non binary. Or outside the binary. I don't know. But, like, I, I thought about that. And I was like, ah, oh, it's going to be too much of a hassle anyways. I don't want to look up hairstyle names. You guys can do that on your own. Um, so, yeah. I think physical appearance has a lot to say with your character. I mean, it just does. There's no way around it. Stereotypes are always just, you know, there and stuff, and I just, you know, I got distracted by my phone, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I was thinking about her, and 
I know I'm doing all these, like, things that I had to list of. Totally out of order. I mean, like, I'm doing character appearance before I do character description. But that's probably because, personally, I like to get their physical appearance down before I, like, actually write their personality. It's probably because I'm an artist and they like to draw my characters. And then I'm like, oh, hey, that looks like a... Maybe I could keep that that thing I just drew. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then I kind of, you know, go from there. And that's the character. All right. So, yeah. It's, um... That's just my process, I guess. But, um... See, a thing about character appearance and stuff... How long have I been on here? Just... I don't want to go over the limit. I have a limit now. Ten minutes. Okay. I could keep going. But the thing about, um... Describing characters based on their appearance is, like, how much is enough kind of thing. It's like, how much description should I give? Should I go all out like Mel does and tell them, like, freaking everything? No, you don't have to. In fact, I suggest you don't because it kind of gets away from the point of your story, comic, um, fan fiction, whatever the hell you're making with these characters. Uh, especially if you're doing art in the first place or doing an artsy thing and you don't really need to describe a character, you can just draw them out. I mean, I'll just draw them out and let their viewers see it for themselves. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Whoops, awkward. I'm not cutting that out because it's going to be hard. But yeah, so, um, hmm, what was I saying? <laughs> I hate when that happens so much. Yeah, but, like, if you are actually drawing them or whatever, um, you don't really need all of this. I mean, it helps a lot when it's just, like, bold when it applies. It's like, oh, hmm, I wonder what this character is. Maybe short, maybe, maybe dark skin tone, maybe, maybe super thin, maybe acne, maybe. Oh, I should put acne on the face, too. Whatever. Sunburn and both. And, you know, that kind of thing. It's, like, helpful for when you want to actually create a character um, through art form other than writing, through an art form other than writing, and so, um, <laughs> I just, my train of thought is so wild today, but pretty much, like, <laughs> I hear my brother talking, I'm just, damn it, God, Mel, get a grip, <laughs> so if you are writing, you know, you're using this as a writing reference, you probably shouldn't have all of this detail and more written in your story. You keep it simple, okay? You should keep it simple. You shouldn't all at once get, like, have five paragraphs describing exactly how your character looks. What you should do, um, you should just pick and choose the biggest features of your character physically. Okay, like, my character has a hooked nose. He has really bulgy eyes, like really thin lips and like huge beard. Oh, I forgot. Facial hair. Wiry beard. Kind of like a, what's his name? Hogard? Hog, hog, freaking guy from Harry Potter, okay? I'm, Haggard. Hot. I didn't watch Harry Potter as a child. I know. I'm deprived. You guys probably shouldn't be getting ref, writing references for me. <laughs> but yeah, that guy. <laughs> and like. He has, like, red hair, though, so he's, like, a Scotsman kind of looking character, green eyes, bulging green eyes, ew, and then, but he's really super thin, okay, okay, keep with me, his style, obviously, is, um, is, um, is neon style, preppy neon, yeah, <laughs> I'm just making the best character right now, but, you know, you just, you pull out those Features that really stand out and now grab the reader's attention, and you know what? That really describe who your character is. So then you have a general idea. I mean, when I think of like red beard and stuff, I think of a Scotsman, and so you know, I'm gonna hope other people do too. Like a generalization, stereotype kind of thing. Mm. Drinking water, don't worry about it, guys. But yeah, you don't go. I mean, you can, like, okay, if your character does have, like, scars or tattoos or stretch marks or something, you can mention it later, but don't put, like, everything all in one place. You just slowly mention things. You put out the things that really describe your character at first that are the big parts of your character's physical appearance, 
And then later you go on and say, oh, man, yeah, got another sunburn. Ah, oh, man, every summer I sunburn so easily. Or like, oh, or, or, or a girl character, oh, my God, look, I got stretch marks. Whatever, I love stretch marks, but whatever. Or um, you describe, oh, like, their eyes dull as usual or whatever. I don't know. Um, cheekbones so sharp they could cut a man. <laughs> That's my writing style, you guys. This is where you're getting your freaking reference. And, yeah, you can do, like, dyed or highlights wherever. I mean, you could describe freaking eyebrows later. You don't have to do all this, you know, details all at once. You do it slowly. You pick and choose at certain times when to, you know, present these things. You don't do it all at once. The reader's going to forget freaking everything. I would. I'd like, okay, what did she say? She has that... Oh, and that. Ooh, and jawlines, too. Mm, girl, I love when they describe the jawlines. Like, all of a sudden, it was just like, oh, okay. Hey, what's up? Okay. Okay, this sounds like a nice jawline. Mm. So, yeah, just keep it simple at first. Keep it basic. You know, just pull out the big features from your character. And then you go and detail. You sprinkle details along on throughout the story. So, I mean, and each little detail you sprinkle should have a little story behind them. Like, if my character has a scar... On his freaking hand. I mean, maybe he, like, accidentally cut himself with a knife as a kid and he's an idiot. Or maybe he was in a war and he's like, oh, get the knife, get the sword, grab it out of my hand. <laughs> it's a whole motion thing with that, too. It's stupid. Oh, God. So, yeah, you know, just keep it basic, you know, and then detail later. Anyways, if you guys want more on this, more description, whatever shit stuff thing... Uh, please leave a comment below or put in my discussion box or PM. Is PM still a thing on YouTube? I'm not sure, but whatever. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And yeah, leave lots of comments because y'all love me. I'll talk to you later. This is the Bubble Mo. See you later.